Hey guys, Rick from Rick Splash Rate Review Zone here. Today I'm doing a video on this Phoenix E18R version 2. It's a 1200 lumen everyday carry flashlight. Has a 146 meters maximum throwing distance and it comes with the included ARB L16 700p battery. Okay. It has a Cadilla rate of 5,397. That'd be your turbo. A run time for 200 hours that'd be your moonlight mode and you got the one meter impact resistant and two meter submersible okay I'll show this off I'll show you all this stuff off the phone because it's all stinking small I can't read it and you probably won't be able to read it all right so inside the box you will wind up getting a bag with the lanyard which I don't use <clears throat> And two spare rubbers, O-rings, just in case you blow an O-ring. The USB-A to USB-C recharging cable. Little product advertisements. Warranty card. Stupid glare. There you go. And the owner's manual to get the glare out of there as much as I can here there we go and of course your flashlight the E18R version 2 now around the pocket clip you'll get one of these so you got an insulator on the battery to keep it from engaging during shipment so make sure you take that little piece of plastic out there so that being said let's get these things out of the way and focus on the flashlight Now the design and finish on this flashlight is in is excellent quality. There isn't any flaws on it that I can see, except for dust where it was sitting. On the tail cap, you got some knurling, plus you got some grooves on the the battery tube itself. Which is a kind of a smooth uh, grooves, but you could feel it with your fingers actually. It's not a rough type of knurling, either on the uh, cap on your battery tube. On either side of your battery tube cap, you got lanyard holes. And on top, you got a magnet. Which, I don't know if I have anything I could show you that, with that. Uh, oh, yeah, I do. Here's a knife. See? Magnetic. Of course, it's not a very good knife to do it with, but it's quite a strong magnet. Under this rubber flap, is your USB-C port your light in the middle of your brass switch will turn red when charging and green when done charging and you got the brass bezel around the lens as well now what it's utilizing is a SST lumen, or sorry, excuse me, 
Luminous SST40. Okay. Luminous SST40. The pocket clip, you got the two-way pocket clip, so you could have it in your pocket. Or you could wear it on your hat, which I don't have a hat here, as a headlamp. Okay. So let me bring up the specs for it here. But before I get too far, I'm going to show you the threads and the battery it takes. This will take a regular CR123 as well. Dang it. The threads on this are well done. They're well greased. You got a nice O-ring right here to keep the water, dust, and other elements out of your flashlight. Down inside there is a contact plate. In the cap, you got a nice gold-plated spring. And here's your Phoenix. 700 milliamp hour battery. So let's put that in there. Now with a regular CR123, okay, your indicator light will blink red, but you can still go through the modes. Okay, so let me bring up the modes for you. All right, here's the modes, what I'm talking about. You can pause the video. Whoops! You can pause the video anytime you want to read it. Plus, I'll have it in the description box down below as well. So there it is. So let's go through the modes, the UI, rather. So your first setting is one lumens. For 200 hours, so that's your moonlight load or er, moonlight load, moonlight mode. <laughs> Nine meters for candela. Your low is 30 lumens, 15 hours, 23 meters with 137 candela rate. Your medium is 150 lumens. 2 hours and 30 minutes, 53 meters, with a candela rate of 714. Your high, 350 lumens, 1 hour and 20 minutes, 81 meters, 1,661 candela. And your turbo, 1,200 lumens, 30 minutes, 146 meters, with a candela rate of 5,397. And there is a strobe warning as well. If you're sensitive to strobe, please look away right now. You hold down to get your strobe. It is not a constant strobe. It's one of those uh, two, two dual speed strobes. It goes fast and it slows down and goes picks that up again. Okay. Get out of it. Just click on it again. To turn it off, you just hold down the button like so. Turn on you just hold down the button. Okay? Let me get this down in the lower mode so you guys can see. Turn it. There. Just hold down the button to turn it off. Hold down the button again to turn it on. Alright. This is made out of aluminum. If you guys wonder what the Material did meet up. I think it's the the sixty sixty one T six aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. In the size of it is two point six four inches. Okay, two point six four inches. So it's quite small. Let's 
see here. It has the uh, HA3 hard anodized printed on it, of course. And don't even see what kind of aluminum it is. I think it's the uh, 6061 T6 aluminum, I believe. So. That's it for now, guys. I'll be doing the uh, night, the night shots tonight for you guys on it. Once it gets dark, so I'll be right back to sometime tonight to do it for you. So I'll please sit tight and enjoy the rest of the show. And after the night shots, I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So I'll catch you all soon. All right, guys, I'm outside with the Eve 18R version two. First mode is your moonlight mode, which that would be perfect at looking at a map. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but that'd be perfect at looking at a map. You could just see it, maybe, right in front of you. That's pretty much all you're going to get with the moonlight mode. Just right directly in front of you, okay? That's your one lumen. I'm sorry, guys. Your low 30 lumens, it reaches about halfway across the property here. You could see a little bit on the shed and a little bit on the building. It doesn't quite make it to the tree over there that I could see. Medium. Now that reaches out a lot further. It is hitting that tree. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but I can see it with my own eyes. But that's pretty much, that's just kissing the border of the property by the creek there. But you could come over here, you could clearly see it on the shed and the wall of the building. Kick it up again, high 350 lumens. Now you could really see it on a tree. And this is going all the way over there to the edge of the property by the creek. Lighten the shed up more and the bit side of the building more. And you got your turbo. 1200 lumens. Now it's really lighting stuff up. What the fuck was that? Okay, so you got your moon, low, medium, high, and turbo. And you also got a strobe here. Again, strobe warning for people that sensitive to strobe. Please look away. Hold down for strobe. Again, it's not a constant strobe. It's a dual speed strobe. That's also 1200 lumens. So let me go inside. So let me go inside. Uh, I do give you my final thoughts on this light. So sit tight. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, my final thoughts on this flashlight. It is an excellent, excellent flashlight for the price that I got it for. I think it was 60 bucks if I remember right. Uh, I would highly recommend this light. I would highly recommend any Phoenix flashlights they got out there. It does make a nice headlamp, which I could show you. Just take it. 
and slide it on like that and you got yourself a headlamp okay uh, so if you guys are interested in get, getting one of these go right ahead and purchase it you could get it off uh, Amazon you could get it off Phoenix store you could probably get you get it from eBay so go ahead and pick yourself up on one of these you won't be sorry if you th that you did so tell them guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me get you focused up here so if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me please subscribe if you haven't already done so ring that notification bell select all and please leave a comment down below please no trolling no hate comments or none of that stuff i don't put up with it just keep your comments clean please till then this is Rick from Rick's Flashlight Review Zone. I'll catch you all next time. See you now.